Welcome to day two of your notes over solving logarithmic equations. And today we're going to be solving equations that have a logarithm on both sides of the equal sign. So I want you to recall that if you do have like log base V of X equals log base V of Y, if you have the same base, you can cancel your logs out and just set X equals Y, right? So the type two is logarithm of on both sides of the equation. The steps that you're going to use to solve today are the same as uh, pretty much the same as what we did yesterday on day one. You're going to condense not just one side, but each side to a single logarithm using the properties of logs. If the bases are the same on each side, they'll cancel out. So we'll cancel out the bases if they are the same. Then you will solve. Check for extraneous solutions. This is important. Answers may not create the log of a negative number. So we just want to make sure that our answers are valid at the end, especially if we have more than one answer. Let's sit look at our examples, and we only have two examples today. So in this first one, log base 3 of 36 minus log base 3 of x equals log base 3 of 4 plus log base 3 of x. So we're going to condense each side to a single logarithm. I have subtraction here that signifies division. So log base 3 of 36 divided by x equals, I have addition here that signifies multiplication, log base 3 of 4x. So we've condensed each side to a single logarithm. And because we have the same base, for our logs on both sides, those can cancel out and I can set 36 divided by X equal to 4X. Now in this case, I need to get the variable on one side of the equal sign. So let's remove it from the denominator on the left. I remove it from the denominator by multiplying it. When I do that, I get 4X times X, which is 4X squared. Now I need to get x all by itself, so what do, or x squared all by itself. What do I do? Divide both sides by 4, and what do I get? 9. So 9 equals x squared. How do you undo that x squared? Take the square root of both sides. When we do that, x could be positive or negative 3. So we have two solutions. Let's make sure that our solutions are valid. Okay, so... Remember, if I am looking at, let's look at this first little portion, log base 3 of 36. Okay, I won't plug it in there, but log base 3 of, if I plug in a negative 3 right there, that won't work, right? Or a negative 3 right there, log base 3 of negative 3, that will not work. Let's put a little reminder here. You can't have the log of a negative number. can't have the log of a negative number. So negative 3 is not a valid answer. Whoops. Which means your final answer, let's write in a different color here, You'll, your final answer for this one is that x equals positive 3. That works, right? You can have the log of a positive number. You cannot have the log of a negative number. So let's move on to problem number two. We're going to condense each side to a single logarithm. And this is a little more involved. This is about as difficult as it gets today. So I have the log base 7 and all of the logs in this particular problem. So, And I have addition here that signifies multiplication. So I can condense this to log base 7 of x plus 1 times x minus 2 equals log base 7 of 4. So since I have the same base on both sides of the logs, the logs can cancel out and I can set x plus 1 times x minus 2 equal to 4. I'm going to go ahead and do two steps in one. I'm going to go ahead and multiply these two binomials. So when I do that, I get x squared then I get negative 2x and positive x, which makes negative x. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. 
equals 4. And now I've got a quadratic. How do we solve quadratics? We set it equal to 0, factor, find our solutions. So I need to move this 4 to the other side. I do that by subtracting 4. So I get x squared minus, x equal, or minus 6 equals 0. And now we're going to factor this. Two numbers that multiply to negative 6, add to negative 1, x minus 3 times x plus 2 equals 0. And now we're going to use the zero product property to solve, set those factors equal to 0, and solve. When I do that, I get x equals negative 2 and positive 3. So now we need to go through, especially when we have multiple answers, and make sure that our answers are valid. So let's do that. I'm going to come over here, and we're going to check for validity, right? Let's write that down. Check for validity. And let's look at that negative 2 first. So if I plug in negative 2, I'm going to plug it in this first, sec, uh, first one right here, first log. So log base 7 of negative 2 plus 1 equals log base 7 of negative 1. So is that valid? That is not valid. So I can automatically tell that negative 2 is not a valid answer. Let's write that down. Negative 2 is not a valid answer. So let's make sure that positive 3 is a valid answer. If I plug in positive 3 into the first one, log base 7 of 3 plus 1 equals log base 7 of 4. That works. Let's look at the second one right here. Log base 7 of 3 minus 2 equals log base 7 of of 1. That works. So your final answer is x equals 3. And let's see if I can change colors up here. So your final answer is that x equals 3. And we checked the validity of it and it works. That concludes your notes over day two, solving logarithmic equations. We worked two examples over um, where there was a logarithm on both sides of the equal sign. I hope it was helpful.